Hello Team Two Tube, Paul here talking about how to get some better colour sync out of your DreamView Immersion TV lights as well as your Flow Pros. Um, what we're going to do is answer the main question at the very start of the video of how do we go about that and the answer is very simply calibration. Calibration is 100% key to getting the right colours on the screen at the right time and while it's not always perfect it's really all about dialing them settings in and obviously getting them to a good point but if you've not calibrated correctly at the start then you're not going to get the results you require so in this video i'm going to give you my top five tips of how to get them calibration settings correct and then i'm also going to give you a bit of a gift um, of a calibrator to help you with those settings um, so let's get right into it the first tip is when you calibrate use a dark room to ensure that there's no other lights on within the room or you turn them lamps off um, and make the room as dark as possible and then preferably use um, a go recalibration tool screen like the one here in order to calibrate your camera remember the calibration of the camera is just a guide and depending on your television setup you might not always see all the spots that are on the screen that's perfectly fine it's just to help you make sure that you're covering the areas of the screen that you need to and this leads me right into tip number two which is use a virtual calibration screen such as the one that's on display here. Please don't use the foam um, stickers that you get sent with the Govi packs because it can leave a nasty sticky residue on your television set, which you really don't want to do. Um, I'll put a link to the description um, for this one. There's a white one and a darker screen one. Uh, personally, I've always used the lighter one, uh, but you can have a play around with these different setups and see which one works best for you. Tip number three is to test your settings. Once you've gone through that initial calibration setup, jump onto YouTube, find some colour swatches, there's lots and lots around, um, and start viewing them on the screen to see if you get the desired effect that you want. If you feel that colours are either mismatched or not peaking as much as you like, then go back to step one, start again, recalibrate, and just follow that process until you're happy. This would be a good time to make note that when you are testing, do make sure that you're in movie mode and not game mode, which sometimes is an automatic default within the app itself. This sometimes can lead to uh, slightly delayed colour reactions. And please also remember, it's never going to be perfect when you'll be using a camera setup, so it's finding that right medium that works best for you. Tip number four is one of the most important tips in the whole video, which is to dial that saturation down. So in the Govi app, go into settings, um, look for the saturation and pull that right down from 100%. I have mine sat at around 12%. I know people use it even lower than that or not at all. This will really help dial in your color wheel um, and get some more subtle colors displaying on your screen. Tip number five was briefly mentioned before, but it does deserve a tip of its own, and that is to make sure that the app has not defaulted or switched back to game mode, which sometimes can happen, um, and that you are in movie mode when watching uh, TV shows or films. Um, it can just add a little bit of a slight delay, I've found, uh, and also sometimes the, the, the colour changes are not always as accurate. Those are my top five tips for calibrating your DreamView and your Flow Pro lights. Please leave a comment below if any of these things have helped you and also leave a comment if you found anything else that has helped that I've not included in this video. Hopefully the calibration screen that I've left in the description below is of some help. Please feel free to use that as often as you need to and don't be afraid to recalibrate as and when you need to. Hopefully this becomes a nice, quick and easy process for you. With that being said, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and like and subscribe. See you in a bit.